And this is James with the Permaculture Wood Shop. It's kind of a bittersweet day. I've got some good news, some bad news, but then some good news. So the first good news, the bees are doing awesome. They are going to town. Let me pop some of these windows off so I can show you what they're doing. So starting on the top level, they're, they're not really moving up into the top bars yet, but in the middle zone, there's the honey. And down here, you can see him capping it. I'm gonna put these back on, they're getting a little agitated. Yeah, they're just filling this up. So here's the top bar, and you can see a couple bees dancing away. There we go. Yeah, they've just... filled this thing up. See, it's interesting because you can... See over here, the comb's yellow, you got the pollen and the brood. Then you get back here. And it turns to white. Where's that one? Ooh, right there. You can even see some honey in some of those cells. It's interesting because you can smell the honey from the outside of the hives on the some days. Yeah, they're working on filling up that back section. They still have some more room to grow, but boy, they're going at it. So that's the good news. Bees are doing wonderful. I'm tickled to death how well they're performing in both hives. They are just busy as could be, enjoying life, working hard. But the bad news. So unfortunately, there are people in this world who don't think they just react. What I'm talking about is uh, apparently I have some neighbors that are not happy about these bees being here and they are filing complaints against me. Now it's not against the ordinance, the city ordinances where I live to have bees, it's perfectly fine. Unfortunately in the neighborhood I'm in, which I don't have much control over this at the moment, Basically they filed complaints and the owners um, are basically threatening me now and telling me I have to get rid of my bees. They wouldn't listen to me. I tried explaining to them the neighborhood we're in. There's so many trees and flowers. There's thousands and thousands of bees that come in every day from outside the neighborhood. So it's not going to really fix anything. I guess they're afraid that my killer bees are going to kill their baby or some other ludicrous thing like that. Even though I've never used any bee gear working with them, and like you can see, as long as I'm gentle, I can stick my hand up here and they'll crawl onto me and explore. And as long as I'm calm, they're fine. But things being the way they are, the bees have to have a new home. 
Now the good news, I did find a new home for him. It's, I don't know, maybe six miles away from here, five, six. I'll still be able to go visit them. Spot where they're going to, they've got two ponds within 30, 40 yards of where they're going to be. It's on the other side of a canal against the fence, so no one's going out there. There's no people back there. No one to whine, no one to complain, no one to be upset about them there. The nearest beehives that they know of, that my friends know of, are mile and a half, mile, two miles away. So there's lots of clovers, lots of wildflowers, lots of trees, flowering trees, so they'll be in good hands. So today is the last day that these things are going to be here. I've got it all worked out. I've got the site. There's... I'm going to take some T-posts and pound them in the ground and there's some scrap plywood that I can use to kind of build like a simple shelter. Just kind of keep the winds off of them and the sun off of them, but still so give them the freedom to move around. So that is going to be going on tonight. Um, the worry's got all three levels. Top bar has all three level, um, all the bars in it. So kind of my plan. I'm going to wait until it's dark. Make sure they all get back in. Take some pieces of scrap wood, set it on the landing, and kind of clamp it in front to block them in. So that way they're not coming in and out. I'm going to take ratchet straps, wrap them around, ratchet them together so that way they don't fall apart. We don't want to have problems while we're transporting these in the car. I'll put a ratchet strap around the top bar just to hold the roof on. And then we'll take them out there and put them in their new home. I'll be watching them. I'll be doing updates. The place where they're going, they're good friends of mine, so I can go out there and check on them anytime I want. So yeah, so that's the good, the bad, and the good. Good, bees are happy, bad. Unfortunately, there's people in this world that kind of, in certain situations, make everyone else live by the lowest common uneducated denominator. Which for me is just a sign that I'm outgrowing this place. It's going to be time to move somewhere else soon. I'm not quite sure when, but it's coming. And it's okay. The good news is they'll have, they have a happy, good home to go to. Where I'll be able to... They'll be able to do what they do best. No one's going to be there to bother them. So anyways, I'll keep you updated. I'll do some update videos tonight. Um kind of showing the process of moving him. Anyways, we'll talk to you later.